Hi, I'm in my craft slash office room. As usual, opening mail. Uh, I have opening mail videos that I still haven't posted. One day. But today, I've been eagerly awaiting this. This didn't get in the mail. This this one here got in the mail kind of late from when they said I would it would be sent. But that's okay. Handmade. These things take time. So, um, I love that it says greetings from San Francisco. Thank you. Yeah. San Francisco's that way. And they gave me stickers. I'm very excited about stickers. I think I'm going to put them on my little pen case. They're trying to get me to do stuff on Instagram. Guess what? Nope. But I got this sticker. So the company is Rickshaw Bagworks. And this is a fountain pen in an ink bottle. And since this writer's got it right, made in San Francisco. And I'm really digging this like hipster dog with a cup of coffee on a bicycle. This is like if San Francisco was a sticker, it might be this. Um, but what did I order? Well, I got a pin cozy. It's Fred. It says murder she wrote. Because how could I not buy this? So it holds just one pin. And then, <laughs> as if that wasn't enough, so this is Harris Tweed, which is like, there's an act of parliament governing Harris Tweed. So here's like the official uh, holy hand grenade sticker for Harris Tweed. And here's a little pin case made of it. So the inside of these is like soft and plush. The outside of this one is Harris Tweed. And I'll be honest, part of the reason I wanted to buy these is because I could very easily make these and I wanted to see how they made them. Uh, I would not be making them to sell. I would just be making them for my own self. So I don't have a problem doing that. So these are a little bit small. I wasn't sure how small this size would be compared to my pens. So I think my chonker pens are not going to fit in here. I mean, I didn't even try a little fat man. He's over here somewhere. He's definitely not fitting in this pen case. He's also not fitting in Murder, She Wrote. He needs to go on a diet if he wants to do that, but he don't care. He's a little fat man. He don't care. I don't care for him. Uh, anyway, so that was the first thing I got. I'm very pleased with those items. And then this other one... You gotta be careful. I don't know I'm this careful. This appears to be handwritten, judging by the imprints on the back side. So it's Inca Pet. Because, and I'm really glad I ordered these, these, this, uh, because I was filling a pin the other day and my entire sample vial fell over and spilt and got onto the desk and I fortunately had the thought like, oh crap, and I went and I ran to the other, um, 
room where I had an ink syringe and I managed to like suck up most of the ink and put anyway but still like come on so oh what did I get you might be asking well I think it could probably do double duty but I'm looking in this here wait It's a little Inkapet. So this little guy here is a little penguin. It's 3D printed. It's got a hole. And you put the ink sample vial in there. So this isn't a sample vial, obviously. But it'll go in there like that, and then it won't fall over so easily when you're filling up your bin. Nice, right? So really stoked about that. And also, um, I got him a pirate hat. So that's what I got today. It was a good day to, for this to arrive because I needed some happiness. And that now I have a hipster dog and a pirate penguin. So happy day to me.